Perfect, guys. Okay, we're going to take three breaths up. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And we'll do it two. And one more. And up. Now, once you're up, toes go forward. Take that arm overhead. Inhale. And then up to the side. One more, or excuse me, two more each way. Inhale. And exhale. One more to the side. Hold. Add rotation. Five, four, three, two. Come up. Add to the side. All right. Five, four, three, two. And then one, take your hands to your knees and just drop an, an elbow, drop a shoulder, drop one side of your body. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, and then you're gonna take the right arm and just leave it there a little longer. Five, good, four, three, two. There you go, left shoulder drops, five, four, three, two, and then take both hands evenly on the legs and roll up one vertebra at a time. Hands go to your back body, take a little extension, elbow squeeze, five, four, opening up the hips as well, three, two, and then one. Take arms up, add on your heels, lifting, one, two, waking up the ankles, three, four, and five, and then walk that back in. Now we're gonna take our band. So take your Dyna band, take your arms up overhead with your inhale. Your hands are pretty wide like a Y. You're gonna pull down to, shoulder, to your chest, your decollete. Now exhale and pull. If you check out your wrist, they're straight, pretty straight. They're not perfectly straight, but the band doesn't have control. Now, as you're ready, check your ribs. You're making sure you're not more lordotic or sway back. All right, we're gonna add on, lift up both heels as you pull down and up. You're lifting up the heels as you pull down. Exhale as you pull down and at your arms and as you lift up your heels. Your knees are soft and neck is soft. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna try 10 more. If you need to get rid of a part, that's fine. Otherwise, your arms and your legs are both working. That's it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Now let those shoulders do some circles here to relieve any tension. You're just rolling out. All right, you're going to let some blood flow go. Take the band behind your lower shoulder blades. Now your hands are facing up. All right, inhale. On your exhale, you're going to push out towards the sides of the room, kind of like the corners. But on the first two or so, you, that's when you can figure out, do I need more tension or less tension? So from the side, out, from the side. Now check your wrist. Your wrists are fairly flat, not bent backwards. So I'm seeing you, you look good. Your neck is soft. Mm -hmm. You can add on both the upper body and the lower body. And down. And down. Okay, five. Now your heels are heavier than your toes. Four. Three. 
two. Now stay down and take 10 little pulses out. 10 with your arms, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back up, very good. Now we're gonna add on the arms are in front a little lower than shoulder height. So not up here, but a little lower. Now kind of wide pull towards your sternum. Check your wrist, they're pretty neutral. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, neck is soft. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now I'm gonna get rid of this for a moment and act like your arms are just sleeves drying in the wind. Empty sleeves, five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna put our palms up, put our bands in the palms up. You're vertical in your hands. You get, hi, Sarah. Hey, girl. Hi. Two, external rotation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and you're trying to control it on the way back in. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. Now we're flipping the hands. The left hand's gonna stay just at like a, an anchor. Your right elbow pushes out. Bow and arrow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, very good, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, neck is soft, 12, 13, 14, and 15, let that go, shoulders, stretch. Now take your band and use it like a stretching tool. It's gonna to be behind you. Your wrists are pretty straight, behind you, behind you, good. That should start feeling easier, but if it doesn't, grab more band, make it more slack. All right, find a place that feels like you could hold it for 10. Your uh, head is retracted, you're in line with the shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, and then one. And then take your interlaced fingers and lift, you can lift up and hold. Five, four, keep going. Three, I see somebody is messaging in from our class. Okay, hello, Caroline. Good, glad it's no problems. Three, two, inhale. And on your exhale, shake it out. Take your right hand with your right band. Take that behind you. Hold on with your left. Now you're gonna push up. Exhale as you push up. Two, three, four, five, and you're controlling it all the way back down. Six, seven, eight, the other arm's getting a little opening. Nine, 10, 
11 jaws parallel to the floor, uh, 12 gazes straight ahead, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let that down. You're going to have your hand at your low back and push up. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and 20. Very good. Let that go. Take your band underneath your foot. Just one foot. If you have a three foot band, it'll be fine. Actually, if you need to step, grab a step and then we'll go back. Band, foot, bend your elbows, but I'm going to have us do one at a time and exhale and then check your wrist. Right now I've got a hammer curl, but I want you to feel comfortable. Your shoulders are open. Four, four, good. Five, five, good. Knees are soft. Six, six, seven, seven, eight. You're very tall, eight. Theoretically the band can go towards your shoulder more than with the weight because the band is, can, continuous tension here. Whereas the weight, if you go too high, it doesn't feel like work anymore. 11, 11, 12, very good. 12, knees are soft. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. Let that go, shake it out. Step on one end with one foot. One foot, right foot, right hand, forward. And if you, if you um, what you're trying to do is go up to about shoulder height, but if you tend to go up higher, you just wanna step on more of that band and give yourself less distance to lift six. Seven, your elbow is long. Eight, but soft, your neck is long. Nine, <clears throat> you're not leaning back at all. You're staying upright, keep going. 11, resist on the way down. 12, this arm or this shoulder's working. 13, 14, 15. Now just give a shake, but give yourself more tent, more slack, like maybe two inches. Now you're gonna take your arm to the side but you still see it, it's not behind you. Two, you're very tall, you're not leaning. Three, you're upright. Good, four, you might be able to grab more slack, Shireen, six. Sometimes it takes a few, seven to figure it out. So I like to start feeling tension by the first third, but it also depends on the band and 11. Good, make sure your wrists are pretty healthy here. 12, they're not getting wildly bent backwards. 13, 14, long elbow, 15. Now let's shake that out. We're gonna do the two sets on this side. The foot, you're gonna exhale, go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15. Now give yourself a little more slack if you need, go out, one. Mm -hmm. 
six. There's that shoulder working. Seven, but not the jaw, not the neck. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. They have a little tone right here. Five percent. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Perfect. Let's take those uh, shoulder stretches again. Go wide and overhead. One. Wrist are long. Two. And three. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight, now we're doing on the 10th one, we're gonna hold. Nine, and then hold. All right, hold, 10. Good, Sarah, and one. Interlace your fingers at the low back, take a shoulder stretch, five. Inhale, go over right foot over and push your hip out a little bit your whole body has a little bit of a um it's lateral flexion has a little bit of a curve like a moon uh try a different angle if you need oh my goodness all oh, that feels so good today five breathe like uh you're expanding your ribs all the way up to the sky and then take the other side now your foot crosses over your hands on your thigh, go up and over. Rotate, find a place. Breathe, stretch, open. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good, Sarah. Inhale. And then exhale. Just give it a little shake out. Perfect. Let's mix it up a little bit. We'll take this band down and uh, grab a sip if you need it. And we'll take some hand weights that we can use for our shoulders. Three to 10, I'd say. The long arm shoulders. Um, deltoid raises. We're going to take the palms, oops, I need to shut that down a little bit. Sorry, guys, lower that down. Okay, so we're gonna take, all right, take an inhale. Now, open up and come back down. Open up, there you go. Yeah, you can do these seated, terrific. Three, four, keep going. I gotta get my hands right. Five, good. Six, seven, and we're getting, oh, we're going to shoulder height. Eight, nine, ten. Now you can go to five more. Eleven, your arms are long. Twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Now we're gonna take some so shoulder circles. So go up and around, up and around. And then keep the hands face you. I've got a little bit like a shoulder with this part uh, athletic stance. Go forward one and then the other one. And you're trying not to lean back. So my body's upright. And three, three, four, four, five, five. Elbow is long but soft. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. 
nine, nine, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, good, 13, 14, about shoulder height, 14, 15, and 15. Now we're lowering these for a moment. We're gonna take a little uh, fingers together stretch. It's almost like you're um, putting lotion on your carpals. Your fingers are together, you're holding hands and you're going around one way and then you're going around the other way. Yields. Now act like a snake and get some mobility in those wrists and those hands. Nice, inhale. You see, it's kind of harder than it looks, isn't it? Your whole body wants to do it and it's hard to keep it right there. Take your hands together, push down, and then you may separate about an inch apart. See if you feel your wrist. Everybody looks good. Neck is long and then flip towards me. Ah, and then slowly work the fingers. Oh my goodness, good. Fingers down, shoulders down and back, right? So the elbow's still long. Try the other. Good, and then just kind of shake it out here. Grab your, uh, I'm gonna take a sip, but grab your same weights. We're gonna do upright rows. You might want a little heavier because this is a bent lever. Upright row. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Good, Polly, doing it seated is great. Five, six, that's it. And when you're at the top, Shereen, the elbow's higher than the um, wrist, you got it. But there's no tension in the neck. Good, Betty, 10. Let's do 10 more, but if you need to do fewer or you need to get a different weight, that's fine. This is 12, we're going up with control. 13, and we're going down with control. 14, 15, exhale, 16, no neck pain. 17, 18, 19, and 20, let's get those weights down. And take the arms like they're loose leaves, drying in the wind. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale. Either take your hands behind you interlaced or hold your fingers and pull up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale and exhale. I think those feel so good. We're going to go overhead. So this is what's going to happen. You may need a little bit of a lighter weight. So a five, maybe a three, a two. You can take your hands here, Robert, you might want more, knee soft. Now you can also do these seated and it helps you support your back if you feel like it's too off camber. So it is just fine. So that's the way, three, good. It, it, three pounds might be great. Four, elbows squeeze, five. Good, your hands are still slightly ahead of your body, six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. I like the slow and controlled. Fourteen, down, fifteen. 
16. 17, almost done. 18. 19. 20. And then relax those. Very good. And we're going to take the right arm across the body. And it's almost like you're patting yourself on the back. Very good. Inhale. And exhale. Pat yourself. Good. And five, four, three, two. And then you're going to take the hands in a cow face. Lift up through the chin. Shoulders are elite level. Good. Breathe into the rib cage. Hold. That looks great. Notice how this feels. This stretch is one that gets really hard without practicing. Ah. And Karen, it looks like you're over here a little bit. See if you can put your both feet equal. Yeah. Yep. Inhale. Now you're going to do the other side. Your body will try to go away from the tight side or go into the tight side. So make sure the both feet are even, your hips are level, you're upright, you're not leaning into the low hand. Yeah, breathe now. That looks good, Polly. That looks good, Betty. 10, jawline out. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Take a little circle, five. And then go the other way, five. All right. We're going to take two little weights, probably two threes, two fours, um, two fives. Um, and we're going to go overhead with the tricep, I'll show you. Then you can take more. Richard, you might take more. Sure, you might take more. You're gonna put your elbows, and you can also do the seated, and you can put the weight edges together and then lift up. Good, exhale. And this also has a nickname, shape the back of the head. Now your arms are overhead, which means it's gonna be easy to accidentally get to sway back. Long elbows. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now that may be enough, or you can keep going 16. Good, Sarah, way to max out that room. 17, <laughs> 18, 19. 20, let that go. Grab a sip if you need. We're gonna take a tricep stretch. Mm -hmm. With the tricep stretch, add a lean. Five, four, breathe into that rib cage. Three, two, inhale up, grab that tricep. And go over. Breathe. Very good. And up. Ah, okay, a little shake. We're going to be taking a bicep curl next with our hand weights. And so this is a little heavier weight because you um, it's such a short lever. So it's going to look like this or I know uh, you like a hammer curl, Michelle. So this is what it's going to look like. Anywhere from three to 12 pounds will probably be good. You're going to take your weights. Your elbows are by your side. Your chest and shoulders are open. 
and exhale. Now I had a Dyna band earlier that didn't have handles, so I did a hammer curl earlier. So I'm just mixing it up and uh, having a palm faces sky grip. But if you wanna do a hammer, that's all you have to do. So you can scan and pay attention. More important is that the shoulders aren't poking forward, that you have the shoulder blades pulling down gently with your lower traps, lower serratus, or your serratus, your lower lat fibers. Control the elbows descent, control the weights descent, control the elbows extension, I probably should say. Mm -hmm. There. And there. Mm -hmm. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. Good. And one. I like it. Lauren, let's lower that down for a little bit. Interlace your fingers at the lower back like this and then open up. Five. Four. Three. I like that too, Sarah. Two. That's fun. All right. Now there's a neat little um, stretch here. You're going to take your hands out. Out, out, out. All right, try to pull your fingers back. Mm -hmm. Good, you can move it around if you want. Inhale. Now, pull your fingers towards your underside. Pull back a little lower than your shoulder. And then take your thumbs to your first finger and stretch out these three. Now hook the three under the fingers underneath your jaw. And I know we just had on our hand, hands on our weights, but we're just gonna do this little ulnar. Five, good. Four, three, two, good. Inhale and then exhale. Just uh, move the digits. Terrific. We're gonna do a bent over row. Let me show you what it is. It's probably gonna be a heavier weight. Uh, the hinge comes from the hips, but you see how my back isn't round? This is the movement. That's the movement. And I often think of it like you're starting an old fashioned lawnmower. You're going to take the inhale and exhale. I'll be moving so you can see me from a different angle. It could also be like that. See how my back's flat? Gaze is probably down. I've got my feet about shoulder width apart, hip, hip width apart for, um, Athletic stance. My knees are bent so I can keep my back long. You're pulling up. I'm going to turn to you though. Good. Make sure your head isn't drooping towards the floor. It's retracted. Better. That's it. Good. You can tell if you need more weight here or if you just need to do more. So the back of the shoulder, the deltoids, very good. All right. We're doing a little bit more because this is big muscles, lats. Seven, six, rear shoulder bicep, five, four, three, two, one. Let those little weights down. Now you're going to pretend that you're a cat, a Halloween cat. Bend your knees a little, push your fingers forward and stretch out. Five, four, three, two, go up and over. Five, up and over. Five, uh, looks good. And a little back, inhale and then let that go. To get blood flow, we're taking a little sway. And this next one I'll just demo is gonna be like this. It's a kickback. So we've got that bent knee. It's gonna be a lighter weight. This is gonna be 
probably uh, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to exhale, push, push, three, four. Now the weight's not coming into your bicep, so it's not in here. Can you feel how this is kind of like nothing? So 90 and then extend, 90, yeah. So you can notice, do I have tension in my tricep? You want some tone in the tricep. If you bring it in too much, you don't really feel it. So you're gonna push back, good, I like it. And back, shoulders open. Now you're not poking your shoulder forward. Good. Five, I like it. Four, very good. Nice, Betty. Three, you should feel some triceps. Two, one. Perfect, let those down. Triceps again. Oh, grab a sip if you need. Both. Let's do a double. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then let that go and hold. Ten, nine, eight, there you go, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let that go. Now we're going to turn this towards the wall. You're going to take a set of push ups. If you want to go to the floor, you can. I'll do a set on the floor too. I'm just going to do this as a way to keep it in our consciousness that it is so easy to throw in push ups in our daily life. You could just be in the kitchen, reward yourself for having finished, done all the dishes. And you say, I'll do a set of push ups. You're in line with the shoulder. And inhale and exhale. Good. That's terrific. Let's do three more, two, and then take some type of stretch. Those of you that were doing them up with me, you know that you can get on the floor now and we'll do a set on the floor. And you can also do another thing, which is the chest press with your weights, but I'm just showing it all. So now if you're on the floor, you're on your toes for harder. This is the cube, easiest. The knee is next, and the toes are the hardest. Bend, one, two, good, Betty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, very good. We're gonna be adding on, oh, let me grab my letter. And with this next set, lie on your back. And we're gonna take a set of chest flies. When you're on your back, it's feet on the floor in general for most of us because that keeps our low back, uh, ribs on the mat. You're gonna open up and exhale one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're gonna let that go. Full body stretch. And we're gonna take some abdominals. So the arms are on the floor. You can do plank or I'm going to use this roller underneath the elbow, excuse me, not the elbows, underneath the legs and inhale. Now, if you don't have that, just do a plank. We're going to take an inhale 
And on your exhale, just hold 10, belly in, nine, eight, seven, six. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Good, five, good Betty, four, you got it. I'm just holding a normal one and then rest. So all I did was establish stability before we had mobility. So if there's any problems, you come back to the stability plane, which is the still one. Here we go, go up. Now this time lift your hips and come back down. It's like you're doing a pike, two, Three, your knees are long. Four, your knees are both long. Five, your hips lift. Six, good, good Polly. Seven, eight, nine. Rest any way you want to. Here's one way, I'm gonna do a child pose here, but you could also rest on the floor. And this is such a good way to change up the abs. So we're gonna do inchworm, the knees come in and out. You can also just hold a plank. So let your elbows go on. Now take your inhale and on your exhale, pull your knees under, inchworm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. Now how about corner to corner knees? It's going to be obliques. And if you don't have a um, roller, just do your uh, planks. You can kind of shift your hips and make it funky. So you go knee corner. I have to move my roller a little bit. Knee corner, knee corner, knee corner. Knee corner. All right, let's do six more. Six. Good, Polly. Good, Michelle. Five. Good, Shereen. Four. These will work the abs. Three, two, and one. Recover any way you want to. Woo! Good job. Now this time we're going to keep the hip, excuse me, the knees long and we're going to go up to a corner and then down and up to the other corner. It's like an oblique pipe. So it looks like this and then this. Good. And up. And up. And six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and rest. Rest those hips. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Okay. You get to choose any one you want. What? So if you don't have one, I'm gonna have us do knees in and out, but otherwise you get to choose. You can hold still, you can just count to 10, you can do a hip lift. I'm gonna do knees in and out as our bonus here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, recover. Very good. Now the arms are going to go in front of us and the bar or the whatever this is called, the foam roller goes ahead of us. Now stretch out your legs on the floor. Arms in front. Keep going. Gotta move my, gotta move my props. Okay. Here we go. Inhale. Go up and down and go up and down and inhale and down and lift and lower all right ten mm -hmm. nine eight seven six Five. This is so good for the posture. Good. Two. Now we're going to hold one up. So get ready and hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lower for a moment. We're going to go up again. Inhale. Lift. 
the one arm is going to go back to your hamstring and then the other stay elevated in between the arms coming back good lift up push strong in the arm good richard good that's gotten stronger good Betty. good chin tuck a little for all of us four three two now both arms on and lift up 10. and lower all right so get rid of that see if you can just take your hands back and lift up maybe interlace everything lifts chin tuck just a little bit poly yeah there you go now lower switch your hands the other way lift up Good. And then take a child pose, press your hips back to your heels. Let your arms stretch out. Five. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take an IT, stretch, IT band roll out. If you don't have a band, you're going to do a lie down hamstring stretch. So you're going to lie down and put your leg in there and hold it with the band. If you have a, a roller, take it underneath your side. And one foot's acting like a, a break on the floor. And you're going to roll back and forth. Good, roll back and forth. Mm -hmm. And we're not rolling on the knee. Good. You might even roll forward. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's good, Paula, there you go. GFL, all right, sideways. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do the other side. Take that band, take that foam roller underneath your IT band. Otherwise you can switch legs. Bye, Sarah. Bye, sweetie. And roll. Back and forth. You might roll more forward. You may go more towards that front pocket muscle, the TFL. You'll find some places. If you're in a stretch, you can just move that leg a little inch here or there and you find different places. 10, good, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, you can do a uh, calf stretch, sorry, hamstring stretch, or we're going to roll this out. And it will build strength around the wrist in case you ever do fall. You've got some strength here. Lift up. You don't want a Coles fracture. It's pretty common, huh? On falls, we're going to lift up. Go back and forth. Now I'm pretty neutral. There you go. That's a good thing to do, Polly. That's it. And Or you can be rolling out your calves if you have the foam roller. Out. See, I'm turning my foot out and in. Out. And in. Good, Michelle. Karen, I think if you toe out a lot, you'll get the area around your lower knee. Five, four, three, two. Inhale and exhale. 
Now, if you have no band, I mean, if you have no roller, you're gonna do a quad stretch on your side. If you have a roller, we're gonna roll up the roll, roll up the quad. Forearms down. Yep, hold on, there you go. Now you can do both at the same time and take the, see how I'm kind of making myself pigeon mead, pigeon toad, and then it can cross it. You can go more on one leg. And you can go more on the other leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and that cold, and exhale. All right, you, you could do the other quad stretch if you haven't already, and or do a hip stretch. We're gonna sit on it and do a hip. Oh yes. That's right. Good poly. And you can go way high on the hip. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and let's try the other one. It's one different than the other. Good, and then Polly, you can do ankle to thigh and reach your hands to the window and do a hip opener. Yep, that's what I would do, yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. Getting high on the pelvis, rolling towards that greater trochanter. It's hard to go wrong on this. Ooh, feels so good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Good. If you need to stretch out your other hip, please do. If you want just a bonus one, this is a great little upper back roll. You can do a slight back bend or flexion. You can also take a rotation or the other hip stretch, probably. Good. 10, 9, Eight, I always get a rip that feels good, like it's being put back in place, but instead of rotated out four, three, two, good. All right, one, we're gonna take a breather. Now uh, you can use this to rest your hips on and put the legs up on the wall, or you can just put your legs up on the wall. We're gonna let the blood flow come down legs up. We're going to take your inhale and rest your hands on your belly and let that belly expand with your inhale. Just let yourself drift. Down a beautiful river full of animals. Perfect day, perfect temperature, perfect breeze. And just let all the things about the past go away. Let all the things about the future go away and just enjoy the present moment of this breath.
Notice how you feel. Keep that sense of calm with you during your day as you slowly release yourself from the roller. And as you come up to a seated position that serves you, lift up through your spine. Set an intention to continue further self-care. See how that manifests for you. May you have peace the rest of your day. Thank you so much with so much care. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you.